Have you ever thought about how computers store all the information, and communicate to each other? In this, age of technology with all the gadgets and digital devices. There is one thing that made that possible. Today we are going to learn about bits and bytes. In this session, we will take help of Rhea. Say hello to Rhea. Rhea has many hobbies which she does while she is awake, like playing football, watching TV and listening to music. But Rhea rests and sleep after a day's hard work like we all do and get ready for next day. This means that we are talking about two states of Rhea's day. Awake and asleep. So, how it is related with computer bits? The bits are same as Rhea. Both have two states. Asleep and awake. In computer language. We call sleep state with various names like zero, off, false, no, minus etc. Similarly, awake state also has various names like one, on, true, yes, plus etc. Let's learn more about bits. Bits is short form of binary digit. Like a nickname. It is a basic unit of information and help us in used in computing and digital communications. They can be stored in different storage medias. As we saw a bit can only be in two states 0 or 1 and is denoted with small b. We use collection of these bits to form meaningful data. Let's see how it is done. Combining bits together we can increase the power of information. Let's welcome Jai, Rhea's brother. Like Rhea, Jai also work when awake and sleep when he is tired. Imagine Rhea's and Jai's mom comes to their room to find who is sleeping. Mom can find one of the following condition. Either, both Rhea and Jai are sleeping. Or, Rhea is awake and Jai is sleeping. Or, Jai is awake and Rhea is sleeping or, both are awake. So, by having brother Jai at home, mom will find four conditions instead of two when we have only Rhea at home. These four conditions are state of information obtained by having Rhea and Jai together. The more people we have, more states of information we will have. Let's see this with bits. We can place together multiple bits to form a byte like Rhea and Jai. 8 bits to be precise. Thus, collection of 8 bits is called a byte. And it can store more information than a single bit. Byte is denoted by capital B. Let's understand this. 1 bit can store 2 set of information 0 or 1. 2 bits together can store 0, 0. Or 0, 1. Or 1, 0. Or 1, 1. Similarly, 3 bits will have 8 states. 4 will have 16 states and so on. We see the pattern here of having number of states equal to 2 to the power of number of bits we place together. For a byte, we will have to place 8 bits together and we will have 2 to the power 8 states which totals to 256 unique combination of information. More, the number of bits or bytes, more is the power to hold information. For example, one byte can store any of the value of 0 to 255 decimal numbers or English alphabets, Hindi alphabets, numbers, special characters or symbols can be represented with one byte. American Standard Code for Information Interchange standardized the information by fixing which state of byte will represent which character, number or symbol. This helps the communication between different computers to speak common language. We can keep on adding bits and bytes together to form kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes and so on. Now we have understood the basics of bits and bytes. Their differences and their applications. Well done. We have covered the basics of bits and bytes. That's it for now. We will be back with new topics soon. How do you like this new format and which topic you want us to cover next? Drop your suggestions in the comments section. Say bye and thanks to Rhea and Jai for joining us. 
like and subscribe for more videos.